I'm traveling across the country with Operation Free to spread the message that climate change and our dependence on oil are national security threats to the United States. We've been going from Missoula, Montana all the way to Brunswick, Maine, going to press conferences and town hall meetings and doing interviews with the press and media um, <clears throat> to try to spread awareness amongst the public about the issues of climate change and our dependency on oil. And the reception has been overwhelmingly positive. The vets of any conflict from World War II, Vietnam, Korea, and present vets, they all understand this. We are a coalition of veterans and national security organizations who have really come together because we believe that national security and climate change are related. It doesn't matter whether you're left or whether you're right. Everybody wants America to be secure. And we need to have Americans take back our energy future. Wind, solar, other technologies that allow us to use our natural resources cleanly. American ingenuity has not failed us to this day. Technological innovation and skilled labor and self-sufficiency are core American values. In July 2009, according to the Energy Information Administration, we bought every single day over one million barrels of oil, every single day, from Saudi Arabia. A fraction of every dollar we spend at the pump goes to purchase bullets that go into the magazines of terrorists in Iraq and Afghanistan that are fired straight back at our very own soldiers and Marines. Climate change is a threat multiplier, as we'd use in the military terms. It, what it means it makes the world a more dangerous place. And we don't want to put our young men and women in harm's way to fight over oil, and it's these veterans that are leading the charge. For the security of the United States, for the economic value of the United States, and the future of our state and our country, we need to be able to take control of our energy future and have a more secure America. The Pentagon has declared our dependence on fossil fuels a security threat. Veterans from Iraq and Afghanistan are traveling the country as part of Operation Free, campaigning to end our dependence on oil. We have a few of these folks here today. It's time to break that cycle. That's what Operation Free is all about, and that's what we're all here to do today.